My name is Katie Bossman and I'm an aviation maintenance instructor here at Garmin. I spent many years working for a light support aircraft manufacturer and part of my job was delivering new airplanes to their owners and also flying back and forth to air shows. I was flying a light sport airplane VFR from Tennessee down to very southern Texas, like almost to the border. And it was a beautiful day. There was hardly any clouds in the sky at all. And I made a fuel stop in Galveston, Texas, and then departing out of there, it was getting later in the afternoon. And I remember staring into the sun. It was just one of those awesome, you know, very smooth days. Um, but the sun was starting to get low. And as that sun went down, the moisture coming in off the Gulf of Mexico started to do some odd things. And before I realized what was really going on, all of a sudden it just turned into this solid layer of clouds below me. And the airplane didn't have any you know, navigation equipment other than the VFR GPS. So I really didn't have much of a choice other than to go somewhere other than where the clouds were to get down. I couldn't shoot an ILS in my destination airport because I just didn't have the equipment. Immediately, I started looking on the G3X screen on the map for the little METAR flags that are colored to indicate where the VFR conditions were. Um, something higher than marginal VFR because that cloud layer, it wasn't on the deck, but it was you know, between me and the ground. So I had to find a way to get under that. Areas of solid VFR, the blue flags, uh, they show up right away on the map, whereas anything that was under the clouds, if it was a new METAR, it was going to show up as green, uh, meaning marginal VFR. And of course, you can just touch them on the G3X, it's really convenient, and it pops up the uh, METAR right there to read it. Made sure that they were fresh, because the time is stamped on them, and you can kind of see them updating, and, you know, toward my destination, they were turning colors, like, starting to get into a lower ceiling of IFR, and I'm thinking, oh, this is kind of a serious development here. Well, I ended up having to fly to this little country airport to the well to the west of my course um, before I could find the edge of the clouds. The G3X system and the, and the onboard weather was just so valuable for that because I could make my own decisions. I could see that information there right away, as opposed to the old days where You've got your paper chart, you can see, let's start trying different AWOS frequencies to get an actual, you know, reading of what the weather's doing. Um, you know, when you're trying to fly somewhere beyond your line of sight, that's really important to be able to access that weather information and having it all right there on the screen made all the difference.